All right, I've just uh, set up this micro jig blade cleaning kit. It's a uh, B as in boy, C as in cat, 81012, 81012. It's a nice little kit. I've, I've uh, put, uh, what I've put in here is a 50-50 solution of uh, simple green. That's what I've always used to clean my blades. I shouldn't say always, mostly used to clean my blades. Uh, this is for router bits. You can you can put a bit in here upside down and then uh, hang it and let it uh, soak for a bit and then clean it. Uh, either with this uh, little mandrel that comes for uh, like a uh, oh, I can't think of the name. Of it. Just a rotary tool, uh, and then it comes with uh, five spares, a brass brush. Or a, you know, a little extra tension that's needed for a blade that snaps in here, and like that. And then this this is the part that kind of impressed me is this this uh, magnetic handle to hold your blade and clean it that way. So I I decided I've got my a 12 inch blade here that's been sitting for quite a while and uh, I haven't cleaned it. Uh, it's a, it belongs to my uh, miter saw, 12 inch miter saw. So in, inside here is the, the guts of the thing and this is the part that I was most enthusiastic about is that it's got these like a scouring pad that's made by 3M. Oh, I didn't want to do that. You don't want to put that upside down. That thing is not, I just found out the hard way, this thing is not sealed tightly. That was started leaking on me. So you want to store that face up. So anyway, I've got an old brush here that I'm using. Uh, if I need to uh, do anything extra to this one. So I'll, I hope we can see this. This is uh, pretty dirty on the outside here the uh, the teeth of the blades the yeah the teeth on the blade and so and inside each of the tooth uh, each each of the teeth here so i'm going to i'm going to run this quick and then once you set it in here you you want to rotate it counterclockwise so that you you're scouring the teeth uh, that that direction. You don't want to go into this mat. So I'm just going to spin this a couple of times. That's one revolution. That's two. That's three. Let's see what that looks like on this side. Yeah, I can use some more. You can, I can still see the uh, bake down or whatever happens when a blade runs through what burnt on part there. So I'm going to keep doing this. And I suppose it'd be better if I let it soak for a while, probably. I'm sure that when I come to do the other side, uh, having soaked in this solution, First, it'll be a little easier to clean. That's coming. To, that's coming off pretty good. I've just got a couple of couple of spots here. A few more trips. And it has like a little arbor in the center here to keep your blade uh, centered up in the in the reservoir. Okay, I think we're getting I'm going to call that 100%.
looks good. All right now on to the other side. Just as I suspected, this side is a lot easier to clean because it soaked for a little bit. Still needs a little bit more. with my fingernails little piece. Now if I look at the teeth this direction, yeah I still have some some gunk in there. And I can take care of that with this brush. that way or with this tool and they and and they want you to do that away from the grind not into it so that you don't tear this thing up so you want to spin it away uh, I'm not going to use that right now at any rate I think this is a nice little addition to my shop what I had before was an old rockler one it was just basically a oversized Tupperware that I put the blade in there, uh, leave it sit for 15-20 minutes probably and then come back and clean it. And you could do the same thing here. Um, you know, walk away and leave it for a little bit. But I just wanted to see what happened is if, you know, if I were using this blade and it got gummed up on me and I needed to get it right back in, into service, I could, I, I think I could get it cleaned up pretty quickly actually instead of waiting for that uh, soaking time. So anyway, that's uh, this, this thing is, uh, you can find it anywhere. I, I don't remember what I paid for mine, but it's, it's in that $100 to $120 range. So uh, a nice little addition uh, to my shop, I believe. Ready to go back to work. Thanks for watching.